Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. When we last left off, new ruler of course, and we are just trying to clean up so that it, if that internal border gore. Really the last piece after this war would be here and here. But I'm not sure how much I'll continue to do because really our only goal now is to fabricate some claims on these two duchies. Sorry, these two counties. And then we're good. So I've invited to court a new Chancellor, this man here. He's 57, but he's also got excellent diplomacy and he'll replace this Duke that we have here. There we are, let's now get him to fabricate claims over here. He has a 16.87 chance to do that per year, so let's hope for some good results. Otherwise, we're just going to end this war. Someone's apparently trying to seduce me. Uh, is there any advantage to doing so? Um... <laughs> I will take no risks for the like of sea smoke. Okay. I'm being a little bit concerned about factions, however. Such as this Duke Piff for Arles problem. Let's see what we can do about it, shall we? We've got a few rebellious people. We're going to have enough money to get you. You're on the council, though. How can you be part of a faction? I suppose the favour was used on you. Oh, well, I mean, it's easy enough to fix. So just put someone else on the council, but... Let's see who I can get on there. So we've got Pyre the Usurper. We've got this nasty person here. He's not particularly powerful. I think the key solution at this time is to make sure that Honor Guard is in play. Yeah, so we'll disband the Honor Guard. And we'll re-raise it in a moment. No, oh, my acquaintance Jacob died an inbred freak. Oh dear, poor man. Uh, I'm going to reject seduction attempts. Let's see if we can attack this man. And when we can afford it, we'll recruit a new honor guard. We're not making that much money at the moment, though. I suppose all these vassal penalties. An important part of ruling a realm is knowing how to delegate. This is something you have finally realized, and your stewardship has improved as a direct consequence. Things run more smoothly now. They do. Let's also continue to improve our stewardship by having a good wife. Uh, there's a quick person here. I mean, this person has excellent stats, but she's very old. So it means I won't be able to have kids myself. Um, I can legitimize Vlad. Let's do that now, before I marry. Because now there's no wife to tick off. Like, this person would be ideal, they're just a bit old. This person, however, is acceptable. Yes, I shall marry you. Wealth is now my my son. I, I imagine he's a little bit happy about being uh, legitimized. Apparently not. Nonetheless, he's coming along. And we can now have people respect and give me some money. I fulfilled my ambition to get married. This is excellent. Let's groom an heir. Now, what's next? Let's raise that honor guard, shall we? This will offset the power of these factions. I don't want to have to deal with factions right now. That being said, one of them is very powerful. People are joining in just because, and I don't like it. So, what can we do to get rid of this problem? Hmm. You're not supposed to be in factions. Oh, well, let's check the honorary titles. That's that'll help out. So let's go and keeper of the swans. Let's put you in there. Master of the horse. That'll do for you. Master of the hunt. High almoner. Court tutor. Okay. Does that help? Seems not. It's quite a large 
large deployment of troops, that's for sure. Do I have my you know, training troops? That is good. Because I think this war is going to go soon. I've inherited a county. Excellent. This will increase my strength. You are trying to assert my title. Let's make you die. I wouldn't mind doing a coronation ceremony, but this faction is scary. Apparently my mother has had people attack her. Sinister forces are at work. You have been viciously slandering me. I? Do I care? This bishop. I don't mind. Okay. Rain dances? No. Man, people abusing favors on this guy. I may just have to rearrange the council a bit. I need to get this guy back on the council. I should have an advisor slot. Currently Savoy is occupying that. But he's actually pretty powerful, so... Okay, you are trying to fabricate a claim. Unsurprising. The illustrious House McScale, like McDonald's, has become extinct. No luck yet on this fabrication, unfortunately. Ninety-nine percent. We'll just teach that down. 100%. Let's end this war. So this should hopefully give me a bit of a modifier from put down a revolt recently. It seems not. I do need to worry about this coronation. Let's get on with it, shall we? Only the Pope is fit to crown me, because I am Emperor. Let's continue to work on improving our various vassal opinions and so on. Let's get some commanders in there. Get some people in there who are neat of their opinions improved anyway. It's time to have our coronation ceremony. He wants me to donate 700 gold to the church. Fair enough. And now I have to pay for the ceremony afterwards. Well. And it will be an extravagant ceremony. Everyone will be glad to attend the coronation though. Immediately I've got a negative province modifier somewhere. <laughs> Here. Is that converted yet? Get on with it. Now the monthly income is coming. It's going to be annoying to have to deal with this, but let's hope the mob pro province modifiers stay out of province. It will never be soon enough. Of course, great works construction has been halted. Organising such a great ceremony has given me the chance to know some of my vassals better. Maintaining healthy relationships of all my subjects is, a fu is fundamental to ensure the future stability and prosperity of my realm. Bishop Zalant, in particular, seems like a man I could really trust. I suppose so. Bishop Zalant has cheerfully accepted my offer of friendship. I was not wrong to put my trust in him, and now, thanks to uh, this fortuitous meeting, we have both ensured a lasting peace between our two realms. I have become friends of a minor bishop. Yay, I guess. Uh, a travelling scholar, Deathwing. Yes, welcome, Deathwing. You seem decent. I kneel before the Pope as a host of vassals surrounds us in complete silence. The Pope blesses me. Before placing the imperial crown upon my head and proclaiming the em Emperor of Arles by grace of God. 
I am finally and truly Emperor. So I'm no longer uncrowned and I now have the extravagant coronation buff, which should help out a lot against the, uh, the various vassals. Hopefully I'll start dropping out of here. There are many legends known about the great man whose blood I share. A particular story has been circulating at court lately. It focuses on an epic feat where Conrad proves his strength of character. The more I hear, the more I wish to emulate him. I will strive to be more like him. I shall gain the trait Gregarious, and I gain emulating a legend, which gives me another plus five vassal opinion. Gregarious as well also gives me plus five vassal opinion. So people should now be liking me considerably more. My brother wants to join the Knights Hospitaller. Really? Like, you're probably in, like, yeah. Mega, yeah, like, you're second in line to the throne. <laughs> you are kind of rubbish, though. Go, go for it. Why not? So we do have this Deathwing character. More negative province modifiers. Just stay out of province. A blessed has passed. Cease my wealth, my father. Yes, my father has lived a pious life. Truly following the example of God, he passed on the 10th of May, 1110, and people have long wondered whether he'd be considered a true Christian or not. A large ceremony is held in Seasmoke's honour by the Pope to celebrate the life he lived. A virtuous exemplar of a true Catholic, the Pope will write his name in amongst the pious Christians of old. A bastion of piety and life, a stalwart example in F. Blessed be his memory, once again in the arms of God. Nice. Family member made a saint. Does he, does he become a full saint, though? No, I'm not sure. Would be great. <laughs> I'd accept being made a full saint. Unfortunately, the guy who was meant to remarry eventually did, but married someone who was old anyway. And is now apparently Icta. So now you're a Muslim? I don't care about this person. Let's borrow some money from the Jews to get out of debt. At least the less important areas were the ones hit with the bad modifiers. Still sucks, but... Now we could focus on what's really important. Getting the Dragonic Gold. Clearly. Let's resume and resume. Construction of the Guardian of Oblivion. Okay, we now have our first claim in Timbuktu. On the uh, County of Burr, let's use it. We're going to get into debt. Very slightly. All the great works have been halted. Nice has had an acute budget deficit. <laughs> Yeah, there, might, there might be a few issues. The invisible killer. Time to shut the gates. <laughs> and now everyone, of course, has to go into hiding. Uh, well, let's accept. Amass wealth. I could do with amassing some wealth. I have now inherited the Duchy of Savoy. Useful, because this A gives me an opportunity to... Uh, set a new vassal of Savoy and B I can uh, put someone on the council in that advisor slot who's the most powerful of these troublemakers eh uh, most of them are kind of staying out of the factions Duke Piff does seem to be a constant source of trouble so let's put him on the council that'll eliminate this whole faction entirely let's find a new person to put into place here. We'll turn off join court. We want men who are not rulers and who are not married and are of the my religion and my culture. And the best steward you could find, Grey Ghost. I shall grant you, and I shall include lower titles, the Duchy of Savoy. This guy is now overjoyed that he's the Duke of Savoy. Ah, of course we're running out of food immediately. The income is still staying nice and strong, and this is excellent. You are complaining about problems. 
You're my cousin. I'll let you write. So now actually let's deal with this problem, eh? Now we've actually got this guy. We'll revoke his titles, because he is a, a traitor, after all. So he has some baronies here, there, and everywhere. And he belongs into this duchy. So I think you're just hanging around here because you're causing problems, right? What happens if I was just to release you? Nine, general opinion. Your heir is just heir to the duchy. I'm going to... Do you have any gold? Not really. How much gold are you earning? You can pay me back when you get out. How's that? So, you... We're going to revoke this bit and this bit. And we'll revoke this bit over here. Oh, apparently we... Oh, because I was only able to get one piece at a time? Fine. Well. Let's ransom you out. I need that 70 gold. You're taking this back anyway. You know what? Go for it. Go for it. And now I shall give you... Not the kingdom of Arles. <laughs> should go into this county. There you are. You should be quite happy about that because you wanted it. We're running out of food, so I can now transfer over to you, uh, Flores. I'm actually, I'm not going to because the titles. I'm, I want him to lose his war first. Oh my! The faithful prepare for war. My men are ready to Jerusalem. So we will be fabricating a claim here once, uh, you know, that becomes available. We must select a crusade beneficiary, of course. Um, but who shall my beneficiary be? We don't have many people of my dynasty who are men. Landon here, I think, is the best call. Landon Wealth. You want to marry who? Dragon. You could have Dragon. My courtier here, this man. African pagan man comes out. Am I a cannibal? No, how could you do this? Okay, apparently the peasants are um, having a delightful tradition to get some local tax modifier. You know what? It is worth it. I actually out of debt too, which is nice. Although I do have a thieves guild in province. No, this is bad. Apparently people have finally converted over here. Ah, uh, so let's convert this county. Catholicism stands strong. Man, this guy loves to <laughs> loves eating things, doesn't he? Apparently I'll lose proud? Why should I be proud of myself? I don't know. You are pretty great. Let's keep this trade route running. Raiders in province. How about no? Vlad has finished his education in the ways of intrigue. I notice the pride he's attained nothing less than a masterful level of knowledge. Excellent. He's actually a good son, frankly. We've groomed an heir. His legitimized bastard, of course, but he's got some good traits, like shrewd. Diligent, elusive shadow. He's a decent character. We shall get him a good wife. But I'll find a wife for him between episodes. Thank you all for watching, and when we come back, more Crusader Kings 2. <laughs>